Hey guys, what's Kraken Nation? It is Kraken Nation coach of the Boston Bisharks. We are here today with our CSL, I think it's week nine battle. We are playing New Jersey, the New Jersey Full Bay Bay, uh, coached by Nefertum, and they are a very threatening team uh, with an absurd top three of Mega Charizard, X, um, Zerkatree, and Tapu Bulu. And the fact that those three Pokemon are on the same draft is gross. Um. But yeah, so we had to prep pretty hard. We brought, we're brought we bringing some spicy sets, you know, the huge. I'm really nervous for this game. I'm, like, shaking right now just because Neff's a great player, and he's had a great season. He's got a scary draft, and my season feels like it's very much riding the line with every win. Ooh, okay. So we're going to get into the team. But first up, we've got the Metal Bird uh, with just Roost, Brave Bird, Whirlwind, Stealth Rock. Really tried to find space for counter on this set to be able to buff and like Zardex, but... It doesn't always take a hit unless it's sturdy, and because I'm not running any hazard clearing on this team, sturdy might be hard to keep active. Um, the fact that I'm not running hazard setting is super sketchy, but rocks is obviously very important whenever you're playing Zardex. Um, and rocks are very important for Tapu Lele in this match as well. Um, and then Whirlwind is to just prevent those setup sweepers from ever taking off, like such as Oranguru, which I'm pretty sure is going to come. Um, so... It's just overall a very threatening set, uh, I feel like, and defensively just matches up really well. It basically completely shuts down Tapu Bulu, um, so this is just a max defensive Skarmory. Next we've got the Big Turtle. Um, again, not running any hazard clearing, but it's running Ice Beam Aura Sphere, Dragon Pulse, Scald. Uh, Scald's obviously getting those burns, but Dragon Pulse is definitely the iffiest move on this team. It O-Codes pretty much any Zard set. Um, and while that's definitely great, uh... Like, I still, I'm a little curious, want, like, nervous because, because it's literally only for Zard, and it's never otherwise the best move to be clicking. Um, so that's definitely kind of suspect, but I definitely don't want to be a, the kind of team where, like, otherwise Zard might, and, or Blastoise might end up being kind of, like, uh, set up fodder. And this allows it to get that kill, and then that takes so much pressure off of something like Garchomp or Tapu Lele. Um, there's those Pokemon that are kind of in situations where they might be faced up against Charizard very often. Oof, I'm so nervous I can't even talk. Deep breath. <sighs> Alright, well, okay, so next we have uh, Scarf Guard Chomp. Um, Earthquake, Stone Age, Poison Jab, Crunch. Poison Jab is great against something like Tapu Bulu or um, Ninetales, uh, and Rough Skin obviously is great. What's nice about the speed tier that Guard Chomp hits is that it outspeeds, um, uh, what is it? Sorry, Mega Charizard X reliably, so I can always have that uh, check to a plus one Zard. And if Charizard's ever getting the plus two, I really, really messed up, and I lose. If like, <laughs> if somehow I allow Charizard to get to plus two, I screwed something up really badly. Because um, so the fact of the matter is, there are situations where Zard could get to plus one, but Garchomp can always stop it at plus one. Um, so. Good to know. And then, basically, that's pretty much all it needs. But then, Stone Edge, Poison Jab, Crunch. Crunch is for some of those, like, Oranguru or Miss Magius. Um, Stone, Edge, Stone Edge lets us hit, like, Howlucha. And then, Poison Jab is obviously from Ninetales. And, oh, Stone Edge also hits uh, Ninetales harder, actually. But, next up, we've got um, Gudra, the Friendly Dragon. <sighs> I'm running Gooey over Sap Zipper just because this thing takes on Tapu Bulu pretty well already. And Tapu Bulu doesn't seem like a likely bring when so much of my team just poops on Tapu Bulu. Um, like, Skarmory doesn't care. Garchomp's got Poison Jab. Gengar doesn't care. Tapu Bulu, Lele, I think Oko is it. Like, I don't I don't think he's going to bring it. Um, so I decided to run Gooey because there are situations where Gooey could be really, really helpful. Um, maybe, like, uh, something like Charizard has to click a physical attack to kill Gudra. Then Gengar can come in and kill it if it was a plus one. Or, for example, Tapu Lele can get if it was not at any boost. Um, <sighs> Iron Tail is for uh, Deancey. <laughs> Look at Ant's face. <laughs> Ant's face made an appearance. <laughs> um, Tapu, or sorry, Gudra can make uh, a uh, really big impact on Deancey with Iron Tail. Ice Beam is also really good coverage against some things like Gligar or Halucha. 
Earthquake is for something like specifically Empoleon, but also there's a plethora of other ground weaknesses. And then Dragon Tails again, so I'm like maybe Oranguru setting up. And I'm gonna stop it. We got Gengar with just a pretty standard offensive set. Hits everything hard. Really wanted to run specs, but decided against it just because like I don't want to be playing around with synergies and also because Destiny Bond is that huge potential stop to an or Oranguru. Oranguru is basically the Pokemon stopping the late late set that you're about to see. Um, and if I can kill uh, Oranguru in any way possible, um, <sighs> Tapu Lele really can just go off. So Gengar kind of lures Tapu, uh, sorry, lures Oranguru into a false insecurity because it can't actually hit it with its ghost type moves, obviously, so it's immune to that. And then Sludge Bomb doesn't do a lot to call minding Oranguru. Whew. So, yeah, uh, that's going to be a, hopefully a pretty good set. Focus Blast is for anything that wasn't already hitting. Last up, we've got a really, really cool set that I'm really excited about. Uh, this is a ally switch plus Z, uh, ally Z ally switch for the plus two speed uh, Tapu Lele. What's nice about Psychic and Z is in a situation where I just need to break through something for whatever reason, I can Psychic Z Psychic and just completely slaughter something. I don't see that ever being something I need to do. Um, but Calm Mind is also there if I need a little bit of power against something like Oranguru. Um... And then Focus Blast is hit Empoleon as well as Oranguru probably. Uh, so yeah, this thing gets up to plus two speed. Its speed is EV to outspeed a Scarf Miss Magus because the speed tiers in this game are really interesting. Like Gengar had to be max speed for Nine Tails, and Tapu Lele had to be this much speed. Like, or Garchomp had to be max speed. And like the speed tiers, how we matched up was very interesting. I thought. So yeah, I thought that Scarf Miss Magus is actually a very good bring because it outspeeds something like Scarf Lele, it outspeeds Gengar, it outspeeds Gar Scarf Garchomp. Just seemed like a really likely bring for him. And that one that also matches up well against my team. So I wanted to make sure that I had the ability to do outspeed that if it came down to it. So oh, I am so nervous. Oranguru comes, but no Miss Magius. Oh, now I wish I had more bulk. Tapu Bulu makes an appearance. I was not expecting that. Don't I wish I was a uh, sap sipper now. No Zard X. Well, Dragon Pulse looks stupid now. Oh. I kind of like leading with Gengar. No hazard clearing also means Skarmory is a great lead. So I'm going to go with that. Fortunately, he has the huge... Frick. That's exactly what I was afraid of, right? Turn one. But... Do I just click Stealth Rocks here? Am I that mad? Or do I go into Garchomp? A lot of my prep looks stupid without, uh... Yeah, I wish... I, there were some sets now, like, I wish I wasn't... Huh... He has some very interesting prep, I guess. Oh. Get my rocks up. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'll go into Blastoise here and start firing off Scalds. What does what does uh, Dance even get? It doesn't get anything because it has no. It's known for its lack of coverage in the OU tier. It has nothing to hit this that hard. No hazard clearing by this team is very interesting. Clearly a very offensive set, but one that we actually managed to get the kill on.
the fact that Skarmory is healthy is huge. Um, and Deancey was actually another one of those Pokemon that kind of was stopping. Um... So definitely don't want to play around the T-Bolt here. <sighs> so I think I just click Earthquake. Skarmory always switches into Howlucha. So I'm not going to play around with that. To be honest, so does Skarmory. Okay, so Zerka so that thing could easily get actually that thing's dead on the next switch in. Oh, but he's got a lot of hazards up on my side of the field. <sighs> Do I let this go down? Do I go in? I'm gonna go into Gudra, I think. Um this it's a middle ground play here. I don't know if that's really that scary. Um, when Garchomp switches back in. This thing isn't that fast. So Gudra being down is unfortunate, but not that unfortunate, because Zerkatry just died. Um, I think the play's always... Okay, so now it's where Calcan gets important. So I actually want to kill this right now. Right? Scarf Bulu would be scary. But I can't... I can't let this thing get off, start going off here. I'm just gonna click the Brave Bird. Um, just nab the kill on this if I, if I can. Um, Whirlwind's not worth it. Don't want it to get another chance to set up. If Skarmory dies here, Skarmory dies. Halucha's another, that's another big threat to my team handled. And I, I gotta hope I don't die to this roll. He's Life Orb. I'm in big trouble. But he's not Life Orb because he has to be unburdened, right? And if he goes into anything else, <sighs> looks like the Galisopod. Let's count how much that Garchomp did to Galisopod, because I want to see Gollisopod. I don't know Galisopod is how I say it. However, the fuck you pronounce it. Um, fifteen. So it looks like it's a very defensive set. Yeah. So there's a chance of Tapu Lele can set up on that thing. All right. Look. All right. Time to see what this thing set is, right? Skarmory.
Okay, so Tapu Bulu is going to not do that much if it's even max attack. So I'm just going to roost up. So it's a SD. It's a plus two now. It's not going to do anything to me. <laughs> okay, Neff, why are you? Why did that matter? I guess even Brave Bird might be the play here. Now you're at plus three, Neff. All right, well, at this point, I'm wondering what the best mon to kill it without switching twice is. Gengar probably is the security blanket. I think it might be Garchomp. <sighs> might be the mon to go for. Um, Blastoise is bulkier, but... Kennedy get a kill with any of its moves? No, so I like going for Garchomp. Gengar will provide a security blanket in any situation. So I like, because this would make it a, this has a chance to go 4-0, but guarantees a 2-0. This guarantees a 3-0. I'd rather just go Garchomp. How much is Psychic doing? Not that much. I'd rather just go Garchomp. Start clicking. I can get I can get off a crunch with Garchomp. Um, this is a defensive EV one he has over here, anyways. And I can get a crunch off. And that gets a defense drop. I guaranteed kill him next turn. Wow, I play that game fast and aggressively, and it worked so well. I, I don't understand so many of his plays, honestly. Like, the, the Zerka Tree set sweep was so at the wrong moment. So we managed to secure a 4-0. That's pretty awesome. Um, it's a big differential boost. All right, well, well played the Neff. Definitely, um, he made some interesting plays, and he had some cool sets. Um, but I don't understand some of, like... The, I think there are definitely some places to improve as far as, like, the Bulu setup. I mean, I think he, know he knew he lost and he was going for whatever he had, but, I mean, I don't, that wasn't going to win him the game. And SD Bulu was just an interesting bring. I don't know. He made some interesting plays. Uh, maybe he had his reasons. I can never read too much into of the player's thoughts like that. But, yeah, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this battle, leave a comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. It is always very appreciated. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Kraken Nation, out.